Just when you thought Sunday Swap was enough, there is another DEX. I have mentioned that this one be launching on the test net this week. Today is the day. MinSwap have launched their test net DEX all live, ready to go for you to test away and possibly earn some Min T tokens in the process. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get Hey, hi, I'm Peter Beery. If this is your first time here, give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, notification bell. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you so much if you have already done that. MinSwap have launched their DEX on Testnet and it is open and ready for you to jump in and give feedback to earn some extra MinT tokens. I'm pretty excited about this one. I've had a look and a little bit of a play a little bit earlier and it is clean at the moment. It looks really good. It's quite fast as well. This video, I'll be taking you through the entire process so that you can go through the DEX, have a play with it yourself. So we'll get through the initial process of starting and then you can look for the bugs. Is there any improvements that you think? Are you an experienced UX designer and you think, things can be improved here. You can provide feedback via their form and you'll be able to earn some extra Minty tokens. So let's have a look at what this process looks like and their blog posts, which they've put out for the community at the moment. So you can get to this via their Medium post, Medium site. I'll put the links down below for you. But there are a couple of key highlights from this that you can take away. So there's plenty of time to give feedback via their Google form, but the form will close in two weeks time. So you don't have that long to actually go through and give feedback. So feedback starts today. You have two weeks from now from the 25th to actually give all that feedback back. You do actually have to be a verified Discord member on their, their channels as well. So if you haven't joined their Discord, you have to join there and they have a highest level of security possible on it, which means phone verification. So you can't set up multiple Discord accounts and go through their system and create multiple accounts and claim multiple rewards that way. So you can't game their system, so to speak. And then once you've gone through and set everything up, you actually have to provide your user ID in their testnet, claim testnet rewards channel as well. So there's a little bit of a process to go through to actually claim your rewards and go through the process. There is a whole section here on what type of rewards they'll be giving, what type of feedback they're looking for. I'll let you read that, I know you can read. Now, further down here, the duration of the test net is also not set in stone. You have that two week window to provide a feedback, but the test net might go for a month, two months, not sure, who knows. They might need uh, a lot more time to actually implement those improvements that come back from the feedback. So now you have an idea of what they're expecting for this test net. You have an idea of the rewards that you might be getting as well. Let's actually have a look at the decks. So this is the DEX here. It's looking very nice. You can get to it at testnet.minswap.org and you can see everything that you would expect from a DEX from the swapping area to the liquidity area and everything looks pretty straightforward to me. So let me take you through the process of connecting your wallet to this and having a little bit of play around with it and then looking for some bugs and how you can submit a, uh, a little bit of feedback. Okay, so let's connect up the wallet to this website. I'm gonna be using NAMI wallet in this example. So I'll click and expand NAMI wallet. Now I already have this set up to testnet. So to do that, we'll click on settings, click on network, and then make sure that's enabled to testnet. That will allow you to actually interact with the testnet website. So I'll go back now, that's looking good to me. I'll click on connect, click on NAMI wallet. This will give me the whitelisting prompt and I will give access to my NAMI wallet from the testnet MinSwap website. And there we go. So in the top right hand corner here, I can now see that my wallet is connected. And I like this little highlight here where it says testnet. So if I'm going to the live site one day, I know that I'm on the testnet site. So I can click on that and I can see exactly what's in my wallet already. And if you actually need some test ADA, you can just click on this button here and it will take you to the IOG faucet. So this is the official Cardano faucet and you can add in your address here from your NAMI wallet, which you can collect, click on receive, copy this address, paste it into this address field, prove that you're not a robot and request the funds quick and easy. So that will take a few moments to send a thousand test ADA to your wallet and you can go back to the decks and start interacting with it. 
But as you can see, I already have some test ADA. So let's do a couple of swaps and provide liquidity and see how that actually works. So first off, I'll click on swap. So I've already got uh, T ADA selected. So I'll put in 100 and let's see what tokens I have at the moment. Sure, they've got test Sunday, they've got test Mel, test Adax. Let's get some test min tokens. So I'll put that in and it does the auto calculations for me. So I don't get too much. Uh, oh, okay, all right, so that makes sense. Well, let's uh, up that a little bit more. Let's go a thousand and I get 1.58. Great, okay. It's uh, a little pricey, I guess. So now I'll click on swap. Everything there looks good. So I'm just looking at these fees here and see how it compares to other DEXs at the moment. So min, uh, minimum received, okay, great. Uh, price impact, yeah, okay, so uh, right. Liquidity provider fee, okay, uh, three test ADA and route, okay, cool. Let me, let me just go back one. I wanna look, click on the configuration here. Okay, so this is where I can set my uh, slippage. So I can set it to 1% or can I type in an actual number here, three? Yep, 34%, that's great. And I can actually see in the background down here that um, my uh, my fee, my slippage is actually increasing. So I'm just gonna put that back to 1%. And what is this audio? Play a cool sound after successful transaction. Sure, that sounds interesting. All right, so I, I don't know what that's about, but let's find out. Okay, so uh, 1,000 test ADA, that's how much I get. Uh, my slippage is all in there, price impact, great. Okay, looks all good to me. Let's press swap, confirm that swap. And I just need to put in and sign for this transaction as well. And <laughs> it was a cat purring. I don't know if you could hear that. I, I might have to amplify the sound, but um, I guess that's the audio feedback after you've done a successful transaction. Great, that's pretty cool. That's a, a nice little addition, a little uh, Easter egg, I guess, that they've added in. So let's have a look at liquidity here. Now I can't see any uh, liquidity pools yet, or can I? Oh yes, yes I can, okay. Um, so let's see here if I can add in liquidity for, uh, let's find something. This one here, yes, provide liquidity. So I don't need to create a pool. I can actually provide liquidity to an existing pool, which is great. Now I don't think my min tokens have actually come in yet. So it, it, it should take a little while to actually hit uh, my wallet. But let me just check that transaction history. Yeah, just now, great, so okay. So my um, transaction did go out, that was nice and quick. And I don't think uh, one has come back yet. So I'll, I'll provide liquidity for a different um, token pair, one that I do have something of. So let's have a look here. Okay, so a little, uh, okay. So I've noticed here, uh, I will submit this, my space buds are coming up in the uh, token selection here. Uh, so um, I think non-fungible tokens should not be coming up here, but I can see chalk, vanilla. These are my fungible tokens that I got from the Sunday Swap test net. So I'm gonna click on that one and I'm going to say, let's provide a pair of 10 ADA and, whoa, that's a lot of chalk tokens. Cool, what's my max? I've got a lot of chalk tokens, okay. Um, so let's provide half of that. I like to keep some chocolate. Um, by my side at any time I can. Um, and what's this little feature, Zap instead? Zap makes it easy for anyone to add liquidity to a liquidity pool. It is a one-click convert tokens to token to liquidity. So what does that mean? Zap might cause small amounts of slippage. Right, I have a feeling, so if I don't have any chalk tokens, that I can actually just select the amount of ADA that I wanna put in, the the other pair that I want and then just zap it, which will convert my ADA into whatever token I want to create the pair for and then get that trading pair done for me. So I don't need to buy another pair first. Let, let me add this liquidity first and let's try out that zap feature after. So click on sign. Did you hear the cat? <laughs> I love it. All right, okay, so I've just added liquidity there and now I'm gonna try a liquidity with a zap. So let's go back to the overview. Let's find something I have, I don't have. So I don't have these test world mobile tokens. So I'm gonna expand this one, 
provide liquidity for this one. I do have a lot of test ADA though, and I'll put in 1000 test ADA and I get that many test uh, world mobile tokens and I'm gonna zap it. So let me just check. I don't have any world mobile tokens in here. Yep, lots of chalk, lots of liquidity tokens, lots of milk, vanilla. I've, I've got plenty here to make uh, a lot of uh, milkshakes, but no, no world mobile token. All right, cool, great. So let's zap this. Ah, oh, hang on, let's go back to, I like this in the interface. That it knows that I don't have world mobile tokens. So I'm gonna zap this and get some. Okay, right, okay, so now this is uh, telling me, yep, I've got the ADA, great. What pool do I want? Makes sense to me. So liquidity pool, and I'm looking for that world mobile token one there. Great, that looks good to me. Percentage share of the pool, that's the amount per ADA. Okay, zap it. I like it. I like this. Did I say I like this? <laughs> I like it. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, you know, when I was going through the Sunday swap test net, it was quite simple, straightforward. I think my comment was, that's it. It's quite boring. Um, that's why I like my finance. It's uh, I just get in and do what I need to do. This is a nice experience as well. And those little things where I don't need to buy the additional token and swap it, I can zap it and make that conversion for me to provide liquidity straight away. So if like so many people, they're coming, they're, they're new to the ecosystem, they missed out on all these token launches. And to be able to just get in and purchase uh, the other pair within one single swap um, and one single zap in this case makes it so much easier. And I absolutely love this. So my first impressions, wow, this is really cool. Uh, another really fine-tuned DEX. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to the MinSwap team for getting this far and putting their DEX on testnet. It's a very smooth operation you've got here, guys. I really, really like it. Tell me what you think down below in the comments and give me some feedback and let me know what you think. How does this compare to your other experiences so far on other testnet DEXs? and give feedback to the MinSwap team. I know they need it. Um, and of course you can get those MinT tokens as well, which you can exchange and get some Min tokens when the DEX launches too. Right, that's it for me for this video. There's a lot of content coming out. There's a lot of things building on Cardano at the moment. If you like this type of content, give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, notification bell, and you hear more from me real soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.